What's up, everybody? We are. All right. Maybe we're... other live is working now. Is it working? It's working, but it usually okay. drops a couple minutes in. Um, okay. Well, I will continue to talk. <laughs> <laughs> so we just had an issue with our with our internet, and so it wasn't going live. Um, so what I will do is just continue with what we were going to talk about, which was uh, best tips for fins. So. Um, yeah, we got um, all these fins, and they are. Um, I'd be very lucky to be able to try a bunch of different fins. So, today I'm actually just going to throw you through a few tips on um, you know, what, what I choose when, when I'm choosing a good fin, what like what I choose in order to uh, to get the most comfort, the most you know, the most time out in the water. So, um yeah, I mean, basically you got a lot of different fin companies. There are so many from Viper, who, you know, one of the first, um, Kapaloa just, just came out or have been, been around for a little bit, I think, but, um, you know, they're starting to show up a lot more. Great fins, um, you know, obviously all these, all these favorites. Now, um, uh, fins actually were always designed, um, or most of them were designed for, uh, for bodyboarders. Um, and that's why they became so popular. So you see the cut on that? That is a bodyboarding fin, as opposed to, let's take the uh, very popular Defin, and you can see the difference, okay? That's at an angle, and the reason they do that is simply because um, uh, as a bodyboarder, they like to do uh, what they call um, drop knee. And so when you bring your drop knee around, this is actually gonna catch on your board when you bring it in. If you've seen drop knee, just, um, just Google it. Um, it's basically bring your knee up and you're essentially standing on your boogie board. It's actually really hard to do, but you need a fin that isn't gonna catch. And so that's why there are these, these two specific kind of fins. So when you're looking for a fin and you're a body surfer or a handboarder, what you want to be sure of is that you're actually getting the right ball, uh, the right fin for what you want to do it for. These are swim fins and these are specifically designed for bodyboarding. Now, obviously you can still use these for, um, for body surfing. They are just not designed for that. So really kind of, you want to get something that's designed specifically for what you're going to use it for, which makes, which makes sense. So the first thing I like to look at, um, is when I'm choosing a fin is uh, comfort. It's honestly, I have been out in the water when um, you know you start to get cramp on the back of your leg or you, you literally feel like your foot is in a vice. And um, so the most important thing for me is comfort, hands down. Um, and so the reason, the way that I actually choose a comfort is um, and, and this is, you know, the internet is great because you can literally just pick if, you know, you can pick stuff and, and, and get it shipped to you. But the great thing about going into a shop is that you can actually go into a, into, you know, any one of the surf shops, you can try a bunch of different fins. Now, everybody has different feet. I've got really wide feet. And, um, what that tends to do is that, that leaves a problem with, um, uh, you know, Basically, some fins are too too narrow for me. So, I'll go into a into a store and basically just try on. So, um, the first thing I'm looking for is a really nice soft foot pocket like this. Um, and this is, I think, where Defin actually did very well. Um, this is no, you know, sort of ad ad for Defin by any means because I actually use these, which are the Propels. Um, I find these got some great propulsion, but they've also got a great foot pocket. Um, what I really look for, and they, like I said, the Defin, um, a lot of fins before they came out was, were really uncomfortable. So if you notice the, the actual fin pocket itself, now these are all rubber, so it's gonna rub on your foot and what have you. Um, but the Defin by far, for me anyway, are super comfortable. You can actually see how, just how comfortable you can actually see my foot moving around in it as opposed to um, Let's take the church heels here. If you put your fit your foot in one of these Personally, this is my own personal preference. These are super uncomfortable um, and what what happens is 
Um, after a bit of time, my foot starts to cramp up. I actually literally, because I got a wide foot, it starts to really um, get in there and, and it almost feels like my foot's in a vice. It's kind of, um, and so um, that's the first thing I look for is comfort. So my, t my tip is to actually go in and try on different fins. Now, when you come into comfort, um, obviously, and sizing, what you want to be looking for, and this is this is the Defin box, and they've got it really nicely labeled on the back there. Um, as you can see, like the different different sizes. Now that's an obvious, but okay, fins because you know you've got like I'm a medium large, and I actually run. So with with the fin, and all the different fins are different, and so that's why I say try them on. They actually try them on at the shop. Um, and ML is a 910 in the fin. Now, you know, the thing is, it could run a little bit smaller. So if you're like on the borderline of a 10, you really want to go in and try them because you actually could be a large, which is an 11, 12. So they kind of run between, um, so a 9 and a 10 is a medium large, and let's say a large, a large is an 11 or 12. So you kind of want to try them on. And... Uh, you know, the thing with the Defin is they are, because they've got that extra bit of malleable, you know, they're pretty malleable. Um, if they are a little small, you tend not to notice it as much as uh, the other, the other, uh, the other fins. Now, the Kapaloa, um, again, these are, these are a great fin and, you know, they've also got that very soft foot pocket which is which is awesome you can see that and that's kind of really what you're looking for um so the the other thing i like to look for and this is my own personal thing is travel friendly okay so if you can imagine st sticking these in a uh and not to rag on the churchills um because they've been around for a long time but um out of the the fins that i've got these are by far the most heavy and or the heaviest and um, you really, if you're going traveling, let's say I went to Indonesia and I packed a pair of Defin, um, I just don't, I don't even notice them until I take them out. But these, these are heavy. So uh, that's something I look for personally um, as a travel thing so that I can take my fins anywhere. They just, uh, the Defin are actually very, very good at that. They do, they do pack up really um really thin and because they're really thin like that they pack up really nicely so if you're going on a awesome trip to uh you know tahiti or fiji or wherever um and then you know you can just check those and you're not going to notice them so that's that's uh that's definitely something i know i i uh take notice of um so the next thing is obviously materials um, there's there tends to be I think a lot of the new fins and a couple low are actually natural natural rubber but there's also um, synthetic rubber which a lot of the uh, now I know that the propels they do come in a natural rubber I just think I, I know that these particular ones are synthetic and so um, the difference between this and this is like night and day I gotta be honest like having a natural rubber is super important it's really really comfortable it's just it feels so much better um on your foot on your skin so it doesn't leave you with i've literally this pair and that pair i have both on natural rubber and i do not get any even i get i get no sort of uh marks on the back of my feet or you know you can uh, i know with uh, I know these are also, I think, natural rubber, but I do get, um, I get, because they're actually a lot harder, um, the Viper, I tend to get a lot more scarring on the top of my uh, foot and, and on my toes. So uh, definitely check that out. Um, and so as far as performance is concerned, um, what you want to look for is drive and flow. And when I say drive, I mean how much sort of propulsion like forward propulsion because obviously this is a reason you're wearing a pair of pair of fins and i always recommend fins when you're going out in the ocean i don't even like going out in the ocean anymore without a pair of fins it's uh it's a safety thing um you know i can swim really well but with a pair of fins there's not a lot that i can't i, I can't get out of as far as uh, you know if you get yourself into if it's really big out 
um, it's really important to be able to maneuver yourself out of a dangerous position and with a pair of fins on um, and so you know as far as the drive is concerned um, you know you can get different different types of fins what you want to notice for on the blade is whether it's rigid um, and then you can see the difference these are fit these are really rigid I'm actually trying quite hard to push that and then you get the not so rigid ones which is you know they're a lot more flappy so what I find is that I like to have something in between kind of rigid and not so rigid I really like the couple lowers these are amazing they've got this ridge down here that kind of really strengthens that blade and makes them just that you know a little bit more rigid than I feel the uh, the Defin are but nonetheless anyway I like to have I don't like a flappy fin like that um, I like to have because what you want to be doing is doing it like when you're when you're kicking through the water you want to be almost like a porpoise and so I find that I you know if it's if it's too how did I say flappy I guess or not not as not rigid enough then I find that I'm kind of doing that a lot um, and then if it's too rigid I start to get um, I start to get problems with my calves because my calves are actually working too much and so what I like to have is kind of um, kind of a good sort of balance between rigidity and uh, sort of having having something that isn't that rigid and I don't know what the <laughs> word for unrigid is what it, what would you call it unrigid flappy like flappy word. Um, works yeah so you know our what you can do if, if you if you want to read more we've got a full um, on our website on our how-to section on choosing good fins so definitely go check that out. we've also got a beginner's guide for for how to actually use your fins um, it's surprisingly to a lot of people um, a lot of people don't know how to use them so um, yeah, definitely go check those out if you're a beginner um, and you know if you're if you've been doing this for a while It's always good to to up your knowledge on on different things, but um, so going back to flow um, So the flow You know the way I see what flow is is essentially the way that the water runs over the over the fin so it, it sounds a little technical as far as like well, why do you need that but in real time when you're kicking you know obviously the way that the rubber is shaped the way that you have these fins on the side there is making a difference with your kick and the way that they're designed these guys you know a lot of um, sort of engineering goes into creating these fins and a lot of testing and what have you and guys with a lot of experience in the water and they understand that the way that the water flows over a fin now, for instance, this fin is designed specifically to be submerged all the time. This fin is actually designed to not be submerged all the time because you're doing drop knee. Okay, so that fin is actually when you you see those blades on the side there. That's actually when you're in a wave. If you can imagine being in a wave and you need, it's essentially like a fin on a surfboard. It's keeping your body kind of on the face of that wave or helping you to keep your body on on the face of the wave so it's um that's basically what's that what that's doing and so that's why it's really important to understand what you're doing with your fins like i said you know these they'll all work but they're actually like there's a lot of clever people out there that have, have, have put a lot of thought into the stuff so you guys don't have to so definitely do yourself a favor and understand exactly what you're going to be doing with your fins you know primarily um, so if you're going to be body surfing, then definitely get a pair of, pair of body surfing fins or pair of swim fins because um, you know they're, they're they're designed specifically for that for that task. Um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. So the things just to just to uh, recap, um, I like to look for fit fit you know your fit and your comfort super important the most important thing to me personally because it will cut your you cut your session down by hours i have had to get out of the water because i had an uncomfortable uh, uncomfortable feet uh fins that i've used that i've never ever had an issue with these three definitely spring to mind immediately um you know they they were specifically um very 
and these are you know there's a rigid kind of mid rigid to um or like i would say like rigid mid rigid to kind of almost flappy fin but as far as comfort was concerned with these all these three were were very good for me um so you want to watch out for that if you travel a lot definitely don't get a heavy fin there's no point you're going to be paying extra baggage for no good reason um so yeah these these honestly as far as the travel fin is concerned um the defin um has beaten everybody hands down they're really really light um super light so um you know you know as far as travel is concerned um materials definitely look for a natural rubber um that's straight out of the rubber tree um not a synthetic uh kind of man-made rubber um you know uh, nature makes the best best product by far and, and the um, natural rubber is definitely the way forward um, it's super soft um, so you want to be looking for that and then of course drive and flow which you know as, as you get um, better and you've tried a few different kind of fins you'll see which ones work for you you'll see the ones you know as far as drivers and, and flow is concerned um, you'll be like ah, I don't really like you know the stiff rigid fin because I'm starting to get cramping um, you know I prefer something a little softer and so you know you just gauge gauge as you try um, these are particularly popular for a very good reason and I th and I think the good the reason was is because they really went they understood that people were looking for comfort um, you know a lot of fins before the defin came around were you know uh, Put your fin, but you know, put put your foot, in, uh, your foot in this, and uh, stop complaining. And these guys actually were like, you know what? Um, let's make a fit, you know, fin that you can spend as long as you want out there without, you know, having to put padding in it or all the extra stuff. So, um, you know, uh, you know, as you as you get into it, definitely, um, you know, keep in mind all those kind of like little tips. If you're going to buy a new pair of fins, they're not cheap. Uh, they will last a long time if you look after them as far as looking after them don't leave them out in the sun and also actually a good tip is don't hang them up um, by the rubber okay because what that will do is it'll just start to stretch so then you know you bought a size 11 and now you got a size 14 so um, definitely don't want to do that um, but yeah as far as fins is concerned that's pretty much my brain sap so if you guys have any questions about any of that stuff definitely check out our website um, at uh, just go it's under the how to um, section and it's you know we've got a bunch of different um, videos on YouTube as far as um, you know beginning beginners and what have you so um, yeah Hopefully you got a little bit of information out of that and you can make your next fin purchase a little bit easier. So peace out.